So with Windows 10 being officially dead, there's bound to be a whole bunch of people trying to find ways to keep using it. And if you plan on sticking with this OS even after the extended support program ends in 2026, there is another way to get a little over five more years out of it. Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. So yes, today we're going to be talking about the obscure, but maybe not so obscure anymore, LTSC release of Windows 10 which is something that everybody's been talking about lately, and for good reason, because this OS is supported by Microsoft until 2032. So if you're one of those people who has no intention of switching to Windows 11 anytime soon, this is a route you can go to keep using Windows 10 for the foreseeable future. The only caveat is it's not meant for consumers. This is a specialized OS for enterprise use, so you can't just go and buy it from the Microsoft Store. But if you were able to get your hands on a copy of it, there's actually a way to upgrade to LTSC from an existing regular old install of Windows 10 without losing any of your data. And from what I hear, it's actually pretty easy. However, it is an unofficial process that you would be doing at your own risk. So we're gonna be trying it out today and just hope that everything goes right for once. So we are booted up here into Windows 10 on this Alienware system running 22H2, and we're going to begin by popping in our USB drive, which has one of the two versions of uh, Windows 10 LTSC on it. And that's another thing worth mentioning. You have Enterprise LTSC and IoT Enterprise LTSC. And there are some differences between these two versions. Really the only thing that matters to us though is the end of support date for them. So Enterprise LTSC gets support until 2027, whereas IoT Enterprise LTSC gets support until 2032. So that's the one that I see the vast majority of people who are going this route choosing. Now, all you have to do, uh, at least apparently, because I've not tried this yet uh, on this system, admittedly, but all you have to do to get the setup to recognize that you're eligible for an upgrade is to open up RegEdit and modify a value in here to basically have the system report that it's already running a version of um, LTSC. So we're going to navigate to HK Local Machine Software Microsoft Windows NT, this one down here, current version. And then you want to find the addition ID value and change that to IOT with the O being lowercase Enterprise S, exactly like that. So we'll hit OK and close out a regedit. And now we should be able to start setup and it should say, oh, hey, do you want to keep all your files? Basically, just like a regular Windows 10 update. But I have not tried any of this before. So this is not a tutorial video, even though it may seem like that I'm kind of going into this teacher mode here. I don't know why I just kind of tend to do that, but I am I'm experiencing this for the first time. So uh, we're going to click on next. It looks like it wants to get some updates. OK, that's fine. I don't believe we have to have the system disconnected from the Internet. Okay, I think we've got it now. I did end up disconnecting from the internet because I noticed as soon as the setup relaunched when I went back into registry editor, it had modified the addition ID and put it back to professional. So now you can see I'm hitting refresh here and it's staying as IoT Enterprise S and it got us to the license terms here. So we'll hit accept and okay, it's checking for updates, but this will fail. But you saw it said choose what to keep, like it was gonna give us the option to, uh, to, to keep everything. So let's hope that that option comes back after it gets past this screen here. And there it is, install Windows 10 IoT Enterprise LTSC, keep personal files and apps. So it just defaulted to that setting. We didn't have to change anything, which is awesome. So we'll hit install and we'll let it do its thing. And you saw on the desktop, I had a bunch of icons and a you know different wallpaper set. So it should keep all of that uh, once we complete the upgrade. Okay, well, it took a little over an hour. And of course, this depends on the hardware that you're installing it on, but we have loaded back up here into what should be Windows 10 IoT Enterprise LTSC. This actually becomes version 21H2, because uh, that is currently the latest release of uh, this version. The only thing you would have to do from this point is get the system activated to uh, you know, receive Windows updates and everything. Uh, you saw down here at the bottom, it says your system is not currently activated. So even if you had a valid Windows 10 key, you will have to reactivate since this is a separate version of Windows with a whole different licensing thing going on. 
But that is all you have to do to install this on a system already running Windows 10 so you can keep all of your data and files. And of course, all of your regular Windows 10 applications are going to work just fine. And I think we are going to just download Steam. Uh, I figured that, you know, we could maybe try to get a game installed on this system. I actually did uh, some modern Windows gaming on this thing not too long ago. But, I mean, just to kind of demonstrate that you can still install all your regular Windows 10 programs, we'll just do something a little fun here. Alright, so what game can I play here that I haven't done in a while that's not going to take super long to download? We could do Pac-Man Championship Edition. Alright, it's looking good so far. We are going to hop into Championship 2 here. And we'll just do the five minute one, but I'm not going to actually do this entire thing for five minutes because I don't want to spend a whole lot of your guys' time uh, just watching me play a game. But, yeah, I mean, it runs totally fine. This, uh, this game has very low system requirements from what I remember, and it is a lot of fun. I mean, this is, I feel like everybody, oh, look at me completely screwing up there. I feel like everybody has that one game that they play, but nobody else that they know owns the game or has any interest in buying it this is that game for me i don't know a single person who uh plays this but i just find it so fun and it's nice to you know turn on every once in a while it's you're just using your um arrow keys to move around so it's a really nice i mean i was gonna say casual game but it is called championship edition and uh yeah it's it is a lot of fun and i i'm definitely geez i'm a little bit rusty at this uh haven't played it in a good while so that is my excuse but yeah the point is you are able to run all of your existing windows 10 apps and games uh that is pretty much going to wrap it up for this episode i hope you guys enjoyed this one if you did be sure to give it a thumbs up get subscribed maybe consider becoming a patron or a channel member to get early and sponsor free access to these videos before anybody else but either way, I just want to thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.